Previously on the Man of Peas in these streets. Oh my god, you're so dramatic. We ain't gotta take it slow. I don't even know what to do. My kids ain't here. Is impossible for my god. Hey, DJ, drop the beat. So I got just got bit by the owner's dog. He's supposed to smile so they can see we look alike. We do. <laughs> Every time it's time to go, you want to start acting up. day y'all it's such a beautiful day that i built up the courage the energy to take my kids to a splash pad i know this day is going to be draining one because it's really hot outside but two i feel like since i've moved i haven't really did anything with them with like as far of course i spent time with them because i'm with them 24 7 but as far as like outside because i'm usually like taking them to the park or Chuck E. Cheese, or like, you know, the splash pad and stuff. And since they've been in school, and since I've been busy with like this whole moving stuff, girl, swallow your spit, ew. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take them to a splash pad. I'm also going to go with my sister-in-law. If y'all don't know, my younger, well, not my, he's not my youngest, but one of my younger brother, he does have kids now. Y'all know him as Ray Ray, or VR, or Vito one of them but he did have twins so i will be out with his girlfriends and my niece and nephew um we've never like spent like bonding time together like just us by ourselves um so we'll see how this goes me i'm a nice person i give everyone a chance until they fucking piss me off okay that's all they have to do is piss me off okay but um she's been nice she's a tourist so we relate like most of the shit i go through or went through she she's going through so like we relate a bit or whatever so i'm gonna just take the time to spend time with her and my um nieces and nephew niece and nephew Super duper hot. The kids are running around. I know when it's time to leave, they're gonna cry. They're gonna, they're gonna cause havoc. But Zaire over there playing by himself. I don't know where Zayden is at the moment. Oh, there he go, right there. I can't catch up. Ooh. Hi, Papa. Are you ready for that? Every time I come there, oh, I'm sorry. Zaire don't want me to be around him, so it is what it is. And my niece, she looks like she likes it. And then we got Mr. Grumpy over here. Hey, hey, hey. Mama, you like it? Alright, I'm gonna put my camera up before it get wet. Yeah, it's getting wet. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later. Hi, Papa. Ready? Ready. Ready. Ooh, it's hot. Y'all look at my son. 
Watch where you run, Zayden. Oh, oh, see, 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 see. Look at this, watch out. Zayden, be careful. Zayden, out the way. Come. <laughs> Why are you so crazy? Come on. You missed it. See, God be by your side. Stand up, bro. Ow, my hair. And then you gonna try to do it again. Hey, I would rather you do this. Climb that. Come on. Come on. Zaire, like, bruh. Okay, I come back, okay? Two more minutes, and we out. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Woo! Ready? You ready to get outside? Because I'm ready for you to get out. Uh. Yeah, they about to throw a tantrum real soon. Real soon. See y'all. About to cook, y'all. So I was supposed to pick up my air. Not. Uh, I was supposed to pick up the tripod from my brother's girlfriend, and I keep forgetting. So it's like I want to sit y'all up and show y'all that I'm cooking, but I don't have. I know. I don't have a tripod at the moment, and I don't feel like driving to go get it. So I'm just gonna turn on the camera periodically to show y'all. You know, I'm not gonna show y'all the steps, but right now I'm cleaning. Right now I'm cleaning and deveining all the shrimp and stuff. And yeah, I'll show y'all. But I'm making Rasta pasta, so yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, here's the finished product. It's a little cold because I was recording on my phones and stuff. So yeah, I got my Rasta pasta, y'all. Um I don't okay, so I don't like barbecue sauce on chicken and stuff. I don't hate barbecue sauce, but I don't I rather eat chicken without barbecue sauce, but I love it on Alfredo. So this is uh this is drizzle of barbecue sauce. Hold on, let me show y'all the barbecue sauce. I just bought this. I don't know how it tastes, but it's bourbon peach barbecue sauce, and I just drizzled it on the top. But here is my Rasta pasta. It tastes it's really spicy. It has a, um, it has spicy jerk in it, and yeah, I wish I could have recorded it, but <sighs> next time. I'm not sure if I picked up the camera. I knew I put it on Instagram so they can come forward to tell me who bought this gift. But somebody got me this by the name of, I hope I'm saying it right, Chamlam, Chalam, Chalam, Chalam. Y'all, oh my God, I just made me a matcha with some cold foam at the top. Girl or a guy, I don't know. You bought this and you messed up because I'm going to be using it every single day. God, look at my cold phone. Star Beasy who? Hey, y'all know the crazy thing about it? My brother used to work at Starbucks. So he gave me the, the ingredients to make cold phone at home. So yeah, y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. Mm. Tastes just like whipped cream. Mm. 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 I need to get them straws. But yeah, I'm about to wash the dishes. I'm about to look for clothes for church for later. And I'm, just, I, and I'm gonna start out editing a video. I have not been picking up the camera, y'all. So guys, we made it to church. I did edit the video, but I didn't get a chance to upload. Y'all, I'm putting them in the class today because I don't have time to get embarrassed. It ain't happening. If not, Zaire's a little, well, I know he's gonna get cranky because he fell asleep, but most definitely we'll be putting Zayden in the class. Zayden is going. Let me, let me, let me lotion up my feet and then I'm gonna rush over there. So yeah, that's it. Hi. <laughs> Every step of the way. Don't know this. I've been Joseph from the very beginning. Yeah.
God was with him and God was working. I think in the pit, Joseph knew that God was with him and God was working. I think in the prison, Joseph knew that God was with him. And God Good morning, guys. Y'all, I'm here laughing because they gotta wake up at six. Like, my dumb ass ain't have to wake up at six. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. And y'all know what it be? It be Love Island, man. I like to watch it in peace because, you know, I watch both of them. I watch the UK version and I watch the USA version. But the USA version is winning. But the UK version, their accent is so thick. And I like to watch it when I'm up by myself or in peace and quiet because my kids are loud. <sighs> Y'all, it got me. I'm so tired. I pressed my snooze button twice, literally. Um, but I did my morning face routine, brushed my teeth and stuff. I'm fixing their lunch. Um, I'm about to make me a cup of tea, y'all. Um, I haven't gained a pound. I haven't gained any weight this again. Thank God. Um, I have 36, 236.6 pounds. Let's see if I can get down to 234 by the end of this week. Two pounds seems healthy enough. I think I could do it. And then next week, we're down to 230. So let's see. Let's see in two weeks I can get down um, under 230 pounds. Once I do that, I'm in there. But yeah, let me finish getting them ready. Well, again, I got to get them up first because they don't want to get up. Um, let me finish getting this stuff ready and then I'm gonna wake them up. All right, I know I just said let me finish getting them ready, but y'all, my stomach looks flatter. It's the side. Y'all, what waist? It ain't here. The back row's still here. But come on now. Come on. Mm-hmm, 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 me. And guess who's going to the gym today? I am, I'm not giving up yet, I'm not. But, okay, let me turn the camera off. Guys, this morning was a bit difficult, which is why I was able to pick up the camera. Yes, then I got on the same thing he had on church. He only wore it for two hours. Zaire's shirt was dirty. That's why he couldn't rewear what he had on yesterday. Mind your business. Mind your business, guys. Mind your business. But yeah, I'm about to walk them in. Are they late? Probably. All right, y'all. Guys, so I'm not sure if I... Told y'all I was going to the gym. I just left the gym. Y'all, I just want to know, why do why do people do that? Like, I feel like, understood, like, there if there's no treadmills left and you absolutely have to come next to me, all right. But if there's rows of treadmill next to me that is empty, why come to the one that's next to me? Guys make me feel so fucking uncomfortable at the gym, which is why that's the number one reason why I hate working out. And yes, I, I could tune them out, which I usually do. But it's like, come on, yo. I don't need your help. I don't I don't want your help, actually. I'm probably doing this shit wrong, but I don't want your help. Because when it comes to your help, that your help leads with something else. It leads to a conversation that I'm not trying to have, okay? Maybe it's because I find the guys, under, well, not unattractive because some of them are cute, but it's just like, this is not the time right now. You feel what I'm saying? I haven't found a gym crush because, one, I'm at a, y'all, I do not like this Planet Fitness, but I came closer to my, my brother's girlfriend, well, sister-in-law, well, I don't know. I came close to... I came to the gym close to her because I knew after the gym I, I had to go help her out to help her with some errands and stuff. So I decided to choose another gym to go to. This gym is in the hood, okay? It's in the hood. It's in the hood. Um, the gym I usually go to is in the cut. You know, not that much people know who I am. I could just get in and get out. But this one right here just makes me so uncomfortable. So, like I said, I'm on my way to pick up my niece and nephew and my brother's girlfriend she needed help with stuff 
hopefully all of her stuff that she needs to do is done before the kids get out of time i might um get out of school yeah i'm helping because i was once in her position honestly i can't relate to her i was really once in her position i'm still in her position low-key but i'm like trying to get out of that funk so i'm doing what most people didn't do for me you get what i'm saying so yeah her time will come. She'll she'll get out of this funk. So, but yeah, I see y'all. Legacy. Oh. Oh. Legacy. You hear me? You hear me? And this one always sleeping. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, you want to laugh. You try not to. Uh, yeah. You, hey, mama. Hey. Hey, mommy. How you doing, mama? Anyways, y'all. I'm out here saving the world one day at a time. <laughs> y'all, I am so unserious. I know probably like back then y'all probably thought I was like the most boringest person ever because my personality it never showed through my vlogs because I was busy pranking and basically showing the life of me taking care of my sister and somebody else but y'all in real life I'm a crackhead not literal don't take it literal you, to you slow ones out there but literally like I don't know. Like, I feel like my new man, he gonna have so much fun with me. Because I honestly, that's probably my problem too. I don't take life serious when I need to. <laughs> because when I do take life, uh, listen, I feel like I wouldn't have made it here if I took life too serious. Like, all the crap I go through most of the time i laugh because i'll be like what more can happen to me okay what more but one day at a time 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 i am so happy you guys are like finally like experiencing well you guys don't get the full depth of my real like personality like yeah, I show y'all the real, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I be vulnerable as hell. But deep down, I feel like I'm a funny ass girl. Like, I, I'm funny. I crack myself up. As much as people don't want to admit it, I'm funny. I, I am. I feel like I'm funny. And it's not even trying. It's just the dumb shit that I go through. The dumb shit that comes out of my mouth without, you know, thinking sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? Ugh. But yeah. Since I ain't got nothing to do but sit in the car, I'm just gonna ramble. How was y'all day? Comment down how was y'all day? Did y'all eat today? What breakfast y'all ate today? Because all I drank was tea. I drank digestive tea. That's all I drank today. Um, I am so dying to go back to the house to make some matcha Ooh. with some cold foam. Jesus Christ. You was able to print it? Yeah, I just need the doctors to fill these two out. Wait, so they printing here? Y'all. Yeah. I'm going through it right now. I don't usually get up, get them ready, take them to school, and then shoot straight to the gym. I usually do that and shoot straight to the house because, y'all, I have this situation where I have to release before I do anything. Every single morning, I have to release. If I don't, it'll be a problem. Today, I didn't release. So now I'm over here fighting for my life right now fighting for my life especially because yesterday i did decide to eat a coconut um ice cream bar <sighs> and i'm lactose intolerant you feel what i'm saying and a part of me told myself not to but a part of me was hungry and was craving something sweet so instead of eating dinner yesterday i was like let me just eat this something sweet because i didn't want to eat dinner and then eat something sweet because always after some eating dinner i always have to eat something sweet so i just chose the something sweet and now the sun is sweet. It's whooping my ass. Because I decided this morning to just go straight to the gym instead of releasing. I don't know if this is too much TMI. Too much too much TMI. Too much information. 
<laughs> too much okay i said too much tmi too much too much information that's that's dumb too much information i don't know if this is tmi <sighs> whatever the hell i just did so now I'm, I'm at the doctor's office waiting for her. I already know they ain't gonna leave soon. Oh my god. I could shed a tear. I was gonna go get a smoothie, but that makes no sense if my stomach hurt. So I decided let me just go inside and help her because I wish somebody did that with me with my two kids. So I, I gotta be, I'm, I'm usually selfless, but my stomach hurting. I'm gonna do my best to go help her out. Cause all she wanted me to do is drop her off, but since I'm here waiting, she thought I left. Since Good night, guys. I've noticed I have not picked up the camera all day after I ran my errands. It's because I'll be forgetting my camera in my purse. Okay, I want to give a special shout out to Linda because she sent me this blender. Y'all, y'all want to know the crazy thing about it? Now, mind y'all, when I did have all my stuff, um, I had. I had everything. Well, up until what last year, I had everything. So I was paying everything by myself for at least a year, over a year. And then it got to the point I was like, "Fuck it," because honestly, I didn't even care for none of that stuff. Anyways, I was just. I felt like the reason I was. I'm always sitting down giving y'all a speech. Oh my god. Anyways, the reason I felt like okay. <sighs> The reason why I kept on to all that stuff for a long time because a part of me was like, dog, I worked so hard to, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, I didn't splurge on myself. The only thing I splurged on was my home being nice, and that was it. But as far as, like, buying myself Gucci this, Gucci that, if y'all saw me with it, it's because I didn't buy it. You know what I'm saying? I probably bought a couple stuff, but... I splurged more on other people than I did myself. So I feel like by me having that attachment to all the stuff that was in the storage, because I had a huge, the storage was as big as this living room, y'all. I'm No lie. No lie. It was as long. I had so much shit. Because just, just mind you, I had a six bedroom home, or it was a five. I had so much furniture. I had so much possession. And I was just like, I got to the point, I'm like, I can't keep up with it and I'm just if I could go back and calculate how much I was spending a month for over a year to hold something that I didn't even care about anymore you get what I'm saying and I was not getting help from the other person so I just thought it was smarter like okay let me get a smaller storage whatever I could fit in there because at the time, I didn't really have help from much people but my brothers. And we wasn't, like, capable of, like, picking up heavy shit. It was only me and Riri. Um, we just, I just decided to get a smaller storage. And whatever me and Riri could fit in there is what was is what's coming with me. Because it made no sense for me to hold on to all this stuff. For one, because I didn't care about it. Two, where was all this stuff going to go anyway? So, you know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, I think the final bill for that place was three thousand dollars, and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not paying that. I'm, t I was tired, I was tired, so I let it go. Dog, come on with the story. <laughs> but all to say, the stuff that was in the little storage, I didn't know what I, you know, threw in there. I just picked whatever boxes that was. I was able to get out of the storage. Mind you, like I said, the storage is long. And my old one was long. So I couldn't really get in there to see what I want and what I didn't want. Whatever that was in the front is what I took, basically. My TVs and some boxes and our clothes and our shoes. Whatever that was in the front, that's all I took. So the other day I opened a box and it was full of appliances. Y'all, tell me why my air fryer was in there. My blender was in there. My toaster oven was in there. Like, I had a whole bunch of kitchen appliances. And I'm like, damn, I just wasted money on an air fryer. And now, Linda just sent me, Linda just sent me um, a blender, which is why I'm telling y'all this story in the first place. But I just want to say I, that I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Like, I am honestly thankful for everybody that's been sending me um, gifts. You guys didn't have to do it. Um, if... Zayden, what's that? Can I see? Can mommy see? 
Cause if I do it with a tough voice, he's gonna lash out. So I have to like act like you know. Can can mommy see what's that? Can I see it? Wow. Can I hold it? Thank you. Oh, this is what I That is a fake. You're such an actor. It's crazy. He's about to doze off real soon. Anyways. Yeah, that's, that's that's my four minute story time. It's just pointless. Yeah, y'all wanna hear me talk, so I'm talking. Um, y'all know my whole life story. God, no, y'all don't. Like I've been through some shit. I was just telling my um brother's girlfriend that I think I need to find a therapist, and it's not because of like only like what I went through on YouTube, but I feel like I have so much childhood trauma. I have mommy issues. Um, even though my dad was in there, like, I feel like I have daddy issues as well. Can I even say that's daddy issues? I don't know. I just feel like <sighs> being a stepchild took a toll on me because I never felt like I was a part. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't know if I address to y'all that I used to get touched by a family member when I was younger. Um, which is why, like, even with my love life, I feel like. If I find somebody, somebody, I stay attached to them because I'm scared to, like, grow through shit again. I feel like I have attachment issues as well. Y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot going in this head of mine. Um, I don't express it because I try not to wear, like, my trauma on me. On me. I try not to wear my trauma on me. But, yeah. I think I do need a therapist. I feel like it's for the better. Um, I did tell myself once I get situated here, I'm going to find one. And that's going to be my goal. Like, literally. I feel like black people be opposed to, like, talking or seeking help or talking. But I feel like there's certain stuff you could tell your friends. There's certain stuff you could tell your family members. But they would never understand. And I feel like a therapist is their job not to judge. So... I just, I just need an outlet. Because, like, yeah, my best friend knows everything I, I go through. But sometimes, like, I don't want to always trauma dump on her. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's that. Oh, yes, bitch. I want to know if the Lord's ready. Take your hands, clap, like a round of applause. Take your hands, clap, like a round of applause.